Real estate first came on my radar when I was a personal trainer. Uh, I was actually training a principal of a local real estate firm back in the country. Um, and quite simply, at the end of the day, I remember him turning around and saying, mate, am I training you on real estate or are you training me on physical uh, exercise as such? So um, it's fair to say I had a great fascination with it. I'd find myself at local open inspections, just in a jeans and a t-shirt, um, working out the mechanics of it until the, the passion became too great um, that I had to jump into it and, and started at the age of 19. Auctioneering was something I always was intrigued about, um, but never actually thought of myself becoming that person. Um, quite simply, I had a friend and he needed um, his shoulder reconstructed. Uh, he had cancer in the shoulder. Um, so what we actually did was ran a fundraiser and uh, I was asked, would you do the At auction? 7.20 we go now. At 7.20 I call it, should we say 30? 7.20, first time. Not having done an auction in my life before, I went up there, did it, loved it. I, I managed to get a lot of positive feedback and I thought, you know what? I needed to get my license and, and execute this. Um, then there was no turning back from there. So within two years um, from that point in time, I basically was competing um, at a state level and then also um, at an international level. And yeah, I haven't looked back from there. The petrol trophy is just something we don't have a long history in terms of recent. Working in a more rural real estate firm earlier on in my career, uh, where we had livestock agents all within the same building, there'd be times where they'd throw me into um, the livestock yards where I'd be auctioning off cattle, sheep. Um, some days I'd be out doing clearing sales and I'd be calling for some three to four hours continually. So that's where I really refined my call. Um, and then I actually travel internationally um, to actually help with the strategies and the process in which I then execute for property sales at the moment. Whether it's because of my country background, I'm unsure, but I just have an absolute fascination with people. And I love people's stories, and I love just sitting back, having a chat, the way things were, um, how they see the world you know, in their eyes at this point in time. Um, stories about the home, you know, about the children in the backyard. I think it's all of that emotion that I absolutely love. You know, it used to take me an hour to get a carton of milk back home in Loxton in the Riverland. Um, and I think that transpires into my real estate. Um, and, I, and obviously I do have a passion for property as well. So bringing them together, um, it, it, it effectively, it's something that I just absolutely love. I wake up every morning and if, if you didn't love it, there is no way that you could do it. You know, when you're spending 12, 13, 14, 15 hours in a day, you know, negotiating deals for your vendors, you know, coming up with strategies and making sure they're executed um, in a timely manner to ensure you get the best result. You just couldn't do that if it wasn't a thrill. You just could not do it. So, congratulations, bidder number 30. Very well bought.